Hey guys, welcome to DIY Exchange. Got a new project here. Um, the sink has one of these uh, stoppers that's supposed to seal or open based on the uh, pole here. Well, the rod that connects this to that, it connects to this little loop right here, uh, eventually over time rusts and uh, breaks off and then causes this to lock and not allow it to come back up. So this is the rod replacement. You have a choice of a standard one, a six inch ball rod assembly for most brands like Feister um, or Moen. And then you've got the fit most ball rod assembly for a universal one, which allows you to choose what ball size you need. And then you would connect it to the rod. And then I'll show you the rest. Underneath the sink is the actual rod that connects this shaft down to the rod over in there. So when you're looking inside here, you would see, let's see if we can see it. You would see a rod sticking out. Currently it's been uh, broken off. So we're gonna replace that. So we continue on the inside. This is what it looks like on the inside. This is the rod. Okay. And this piece would be, you would unscrew that. This rod is connected with a little fastener here. All right, you would unscrew this, pull this out, and replace it with the, uh, the piece that I showed you in the previous picture. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and twist this open. A little water going on maybe. Shouldn't be much. Okay, and then you pull this out. You see there's a ball. Pull this out. Take that. And it's being secured with this fastener over there. So you'd want to squeeze this just a little bit and drive the rod out. Okay, remember the spot in which the fastener was at so that you have the right alignment. I had it at the last one there. And this right here, see how the tip rusted and broke off. That over time is what happens to these. So you just simply replace the uh, little rod with ball. All right, so showing you the new one, that's six inches long, all right? And see how much of the rod broke off. And so that's what causes the actual um, stopper to no longer be able to be reached because the rod is now uh, shorter. Because the other part of that tip over time um, pretty much just broke off from excessive rust. So now when I replace this one, the ball is about the same size. If it doesn't fit, you can always test it to see if it doesn't fit. If it doesn't fit, then I'd have to choose the other one, which is the universal kit, and just choose the ball that best fits the, the size, the original size. And so the way the system works, you get the loop, eventually when I put the rod in, it would have that secured in it. So then when you pull the, the shaft from the back end, it causes this to go up or down. Now, uh, being that I'm gonna be having to use both my hands, I'm not gonna be able to show you this next step, but I'll show you what I'm planning to do. The idea here is that when you go back underneath the sink, before you go back underneath the sink, you need to be able to either place this all the way down or try to hold it with one hand while you reach underneath to get the rod through the loop. Okay, that's game plan. So that's the, and to know if it works is uh, after we secure this and lock it in place, if I also lift it up or down on the back end of this rod, you should be able to see this go up or down. So let's see what we accomplish here in just a second. So another thing to note is two things. I'm gonna be keeping this unfastened just with one of the holes through the rod. And eventually once I get it past the bracket, that's in the back that I showed you underneath the sink, then I'll lock it onto this rod with the bracket uh, connected to it. Okay. Um, the other thing too is that I have a choice either to use this one or just use the original one that came with the uh, unit. 
So I could go ahead and just switch this out. I believe the threads are the same. Then you'll be able to know that when you try to screw it back in. But uh, I like the fact that these have some nice wings to be able to lock and unlock the, uh, the cap. So uh, let me go ahead and switch those out and then I'll go underneath the sink and connect it and we'll show you our final stages. All right, so I went ahead and put the new piece in and made sure that the, the stop around the sink was going up and down based on my test of up and down. All right, and so I got it right in that loop that I showed you. And then remember, I told you to leave one of the part, one of the holes of the fastener into the rod and the other end left behind so that when you put this piece, this shaft back in based on the alignment that you had originally, remember that when you were removing it, I then take this and squeeze it so that I can get it into the curve, right. into the little hole there. And now that is fastened so it doesn't fall out of place. So that's all you have to do to change out one of those rusted rods that control the stopper on the sink. Actually, hold on. Gotta show you one other step here. Here is the completed project where you lift this and that locks, push it down, opens, and that's it. Again, thanks for watching DIY Exchange. If you have any questions, leave them in my messages. Send me a message or leave me a comment on my page. If you like this, please do hit like and subscribe and uh, pass these videos along to friends and family.